Greetings. This is a solar watch, February 15, 2011. At approximately 200 hours, February 15, UTC, Sunspot Region 11158 ejected an X 2.2 category blast, earth facing. The GOES X-ray flux monitor is showing a continued amount of activity and this is fairly significant. This is the 6.6 M-class event that occurred late February 13. This was followed up by an M2.2 class event late February 14 and early this morning February 15 UTC an X2.2 class spike and this is extremely significant and the sunspot region is earth facing at this time. Okay, here is the latest SDO moving imagery and this is a 304 Angstrom. We'll get to have a really good look at this sunspot and we can actually see the sunspot almost double in size over the last 30 hours and at the last few frames we get to see this x square and it's extremely powerful. It does appear that it may be um, partially earthbound. Okay, here is the composite imagery. We do get to see a slightly different image in this frequency. We do get to see the sunspot grow and fairly violent reactions thereafter. Now, and it is worth noting we do have a fairly faint but active magnetic filament attached to the Sun. It looks fairly similar to the February filament in 2010 so that's worth keeping close notice of. There's also a solar tsunami effect shortly after the X-flare and that's um, in progress right now so we're going to be seeing this um, reaction um, shortly. So this is extremely violent and also the northern hemisphere has reacted as well. So this event is extremely powerful and it has affected the solar corona quite significantly. Okay, here is the latest solar soft information and it's running on a loop. What we get to see is the direction of these energies and it does appear that it is earthbound. We do get to see a halo effect virtually around the entire disk here. So there is a strong likelihood that we may be receiving um, auroras um, in the northern hemisphere towards the equator region in and around two days time, perhaps February 17. Okay, looking at the 193 angstrom, we do get to see something quite interesting here. We do see this sunspot region grow quite rapidly and lots of activity headed outwards, but it appears that most of the activities and energies are actually solar bound. In other words, they're actually heading backwards. So we do get to see a formation of coronal holes and the ignition of some other active regions due to this activity. So it is worth noting that the Although we will be receiving the effects here on Earth um, as the sunspot is Earth facing, it appears that the majority of these energies and violent energies are actually headed back towards the solar corona. So that's worth keeping a note of. The KP index has picked up fairly sizable geomagnetic disturbances. So this does appear that some significant activities are headed our way in terms of earthquakes. And I will be making an earthquake warning video in my main channel, the Barker Roller, shortly. So keep an eye out for that. That's my solar watch, February 15, 2011. Thanks for watching.